So, sir, I would like to tell you that our viewers would like to know about you. Just so, just let us know about you, sir. First of all, right? Okay. Uh, simple enough. Uh, I am Piyush Vajpay. I am the CEO and founder of uh, Spring People. Uh, I passed out uh, uh, from IIT Varanasi, uh, IIT BHE Varanasi in two, uh, 1998. So it's it's been a little long period that I've been out there in, in the industry working. Uh, and uh, it's been a remarkable journey in my career. I mean, I've worked as a programmer. That's how I started. Went on to become a consultant, then running consulting divisions, uh, training divisions for some of the MNCs in you know, pretty India, UK, US, everywhere. And uh, then back in 2009, uh, the entrepreneurial bug uh, kind of bit me, an opportunity presented. And uh, there I was uh, uh, running a company in India. Uh, set up in Bangalore. So, okay. sir, I would like to ask you, what was the idea behind setting up Spring People, and how do you see the journey so far? Oh, uh, the journey has been remarkable, no doubt about that. Uh, I mean, l l let's look at it this way: last 20, 25 years, uh, IT industry has grown massively in India, right? And by the same token, what it means is the IT workforce, people working in IT, uh, in numbers uh, by thousands and millions every day. It seems like back in two thousand nine, when I was doing this myself for uh, one of the big MNCs, I noticed that they, they, for IT companies to organize. Truly corporate standard trainings for the employees was difficult. There was hardly any news. And uh, when I say corporate standard, what I mean is uh, really professionally organized trainings uh, delivered uh, using high quality content by true SMEs, subject matter experts, and perhaps using a platform which kind of brings together all the elements of learning so that the learner goes from learning a technology, applying the, what they've learned, practicing it, to becoming finally production ready and that I could not see myself and that that's, that's what, that was the gap in the market and I started Spring People in 2009 to address that particular gap. What are the special programs you have the different types of training you must give them? Right, uh, so uh, one of the key things uh, about this and of course we, we do a lot of trainings for corporates and that, that's the big part of the business but recently for example we've launched our SAP uh, authorized academy. The idea is that there's a huge demand uh, for trained professionals, professionals who have got their credentials who are proven and uh, organizations rather than having to you know, hire them, then train them, then you know, mentor them and then get them deployed. They want people who are ready, who can come in with the skills and hit the ground running again. Tell us about that pandemic journey. Ooh, uh, pandemic was brutal, brutal for everyone. Uh, and uh, I'll be honest, I mean, initial mayhem, pretty much uh, uh, overnight, the whole world kind of adapted very quickly to to the new realities of you know, online, remote working, working from home, etc. But what that meant was people who were not ready, uh, especially if I talk about the training industry, a lot of trainings companies got wiped out because they, they could not transition fast enough uh, that they had costs, they had employees and they were burning money and they just could not sustain. On the other hand, people, uh, touch wood, uh, people like uh, uh, Spring people who could make the transition uh, quickly because they were ready or we were already there in that space, we've done very well. So we actually, uh, uh, I mean, after the initial mayhem, we kind of moved uh, with our customers providing exactly what they needed. We set up our employees uh, uh, for, to work from home. We you know, funded all the infrastructure and everything. Most of our training infrastructure was already online. So the transition was easy for us. And uh, the net result was that uh, we fared uh, relatively well. Uh, of course, some revenues went down, but uh, we didn't have to take any drastic measures like cutting workforce or salaries or uh, you know, not giving hikes, etc. None of that. What is your message to those students who those students who are pursuing in IT, but still they are not clear about their vision, about their future? So, what would you suggest them, sir? 
Right. Uh, it goes back to uh, the, the thing about uh, IT workforce in India. So this, at this point in time, the market is back in full swing. The demand for trained IT professionals, you know, people with the right skills, is massive, massive. Now, what uh, the students or people who are looking for a change or trying to get into is think of it: how do we stand out of the crowd? And what that means is, of course, having the right skills. So uh, r- rather than you know just the old uh, okay I know programming and I know these languages they need to go beyond I mean that there's a lot of domains AI ML DevOps what not I mean security uh, etc. That was great sir speaking to you and it is my pleasure that I got a chance to speak to you sir it is my pleasure and thank you so much sir. Thank you Pooja it was great talking to you and uh, good day. <laughs>